Hotel Demand Forecasting After market segmentation, the next step in revenue management is to accurately identify high-yield and low-yield segments. Each segment will show a demand pattern spread over the whole year. The demand patterns are of three types. Peak Low Shoulder The task of revenue management is to estimate every segment's total business value, for the whole year, and then prioritize high-yield demand over low-yield segments, while accepting bookings. However it would be logical to first start with the total combined bookings over the whole year, observe its pattern, and then break it into different market segment demand patterns. This gives a clear picture of the three seasons and their respective demand. An accurate forecast of segment demand patterns helps the manager to tackle the anxiety arising due to uncertainty of demand in rooms business. It is this anxiety of not being sure of income, even though you have a moderate to high level of fixed costs to pay month after month, which has made the most powerful of corporations to opt for a subscription style of business model. Monthly subscriptions ensure a continuous flow of income throughout the year. An accurate forecast helps all the other hotel departments in the following three ways. Operational inventory preparedness. Staff scheduling. Marketing strategy. The simplest strategy for revenue optimization adopted during the low demand season is to fill rooms early, but not at lose it rates. During high demand, the hotel management would wait for high yield guests, and wait till the last day, for instance, for a walk in customer arriving at midnight, willing to pay any price, just to have a place to sleep. Forecasting generally begins with understanding two concepts listed below unconstrained demand. Constrained demand. Unconstrained demand is the number of people you could have accommodated, if you had unlimited number of rooms in your hotel. Somewhat like the total demand for the whole city. Constrained demand is the number of people you could accommodate, if all your hotel rooms were filled up. That is your maximum number of rooms, or capacity. When unconstrained demand exceeds capacity, the hotel should yield up the rates and if needed, apply stay restrictions, like minimum length of stay. The opposite situation would be of the unconstrained demand being less than the capacity. What the hotel should do is quite obvious, pull the prices down and keep it at lower levels till we begin to see a pickup in demand. Demand forecasting can never be complete for any hotel without identifying its competitive set. The hotels of same standard, same location, and maybe same size make a competitive set. The competitive set is used by each hotel to benchmark itself against. We shall cover this topic at a later stage, when we discuss performance evaluation and key performance indices. While forecasting we must watch the moves and the manipulations of our competitors. It will help us in adjusting our own strategy. The size of the competitive set needs to be fixed, somewhere between 5 to 10 hotels, at the most. However, the hotel can identify different competitive sets for different seasons or reasons. We also need to continuously review our competitive set for any new hotel entering the market, and renovation at the competing hotel. They could have a big effect on the demand for our own hotel property. When we monitor the price being offered by our competitors, we can see the level of demand and occupancy at their property. Any overflow of customers from our competitors will naturally reach us and the other hotels in the competitive set. We can exploit such opportunity by increasing our own rates. On the other hand, if the competitors start offering lower rates, they could pull all the bookings in their direction. How to forecast demand to be able to identify opportunities in different demand periods, the revenue manager has to forecast by date, and segments, based on past booking data, as well as computer algorithms. Did you know that Microsoft Excel can be used for forecasting? Explore that. We must use data from as many sources as possible. Some of the reliable sources are listed here. Hotel's own website. ODA Channel Manager System Revenue Management System
Central Reservation System Property Management System The record of repeat business is another important source of valuable data. They are the low-cost business that can be acquired with less effort. How to Forecast Booking Demand Data We always have to forecast for a specific date and for a particular booking window, which is how far in advance the reservations are made. The booking window is different for different market segments. As we look at the booking curve pattern of last year, compared with the booking curve for the present year, then calculate the pickup rate which is the average number of bookings being received by the hotel in the last one week, or past 15 days, and finally we add the possible number of reservations to the reservations already on the books, we get a fairly accurate prediction of the final number of bookings on the day of arrival. The formula is Data on books plus pickup multiplied by days in booking window equals bookings on the target date. Close examination of the booking curve reveals trends and patterns in demand, and with some practice and experience, we can forecast nearly accurate booking data. Forecasting must be linked to the prediction for the destination first, because if the whole city or area is losing its popularity, then a single hotel cannot expect to survive and grow in that depressed market. Forecasting for a destination is called strategic forecasting and, the forecasting specific to a property is called, tactical forecasting. The forecasting for hotel operations should be made from 3 to 30 days in advance. The forecast usually points to two important variables. Occupancy percentage. ADR or average daily rate. The prediction is for a specific date, for a particular room type for a valuable market segment and, for a select distribution channel. Methods of Forecasting There are four major methods of demand forecasting in hotel business. Historical Data Method, or Time Series Analysis. Advanced Booking Method. Combined Method. Qualitative Method. The Historical Data Method has four variations. Random Walk. Moving Average. Exponential smoothing. Auto regression models. The time series analysis, which requires studying the number of bookings per day, plus the pickup, or the pace of bookings, to forecast the expected number of occupied rooms, is a linear method, and has a major drawback that it cannot handle sudden changes in the environment. The advanced booking method has two variations additive method, multiplicative method. Advanced booking method has an actual target date and a reading day, which is the previous day. An average rate of pickup is added to the bookings on reading day, to predict the occupancy on the actual date. The pickup rate can be calculated from last year records or from the past week, or fortnight in the current year. In multiplicative method, the pickup average is replaced by pickup ratio. The pickup ratio is multiplied to the bookings on the reading day to find out the occupancy on the next date. The combined method has three variations. Regression analysis. Combination of historical method and advanced booking method. Artificial neural network, or artificial intelligence. Regression analysis is superior to time series analysis because it factors into calculations, the error which are possible due to the gap between the arrival date and the date on which the forecast is being made. It may also include a factor for unexpected changes. Artificial intelligence or, artificial neural network is the cutting-edge technology. It involves training a model which imitates the human perception and decision-making, to identify patterns in booking data, by feeding the past operational data into the computer. Artificial intelligence is the next frontier of revenue management in hotels. The qualitative method has one variation. Delphi method. Delphi method is an expert's subjective opinion about the future demand patterns that is mostly correct, if no major changes or events take place. It is true that none of these methods are 100% accurate and therefore, hotels must evaluate the success of their chosen forecast model. There are three statistical methods to evaluate the error in forecasting, in absolute terms. 
Absolute value is the quantity of deviation from the actual data, both above or below the actual level. Mean absolute error. Mean absolute percentage error. Root mean square error. These are nothing but the standard deviation in statistics we learn in high school. The revenue management team should work with common goals and strategy. The sales, marketing, and revenue must share inputs, expertise, and experience to help the hotel gain the most profitable business. It must be pointed out here that sometimes it is better to have lower occupancy and higher ADR, as compared to higher occupancy with lower ADR. What the owners, investors are really interested in is the money flowing into their bank accounts, in absolute terms. A full hotel also results in wear and tear, plus employee work overload stress. Another factor that has a huge short-term impact on demand is the discounting strategy, either of self or the competitive set. Discounts may fill rooms but not the bank accounts. A discount can bring in a lot of demand and it is important to check the effect of promotion regularly. Always remember the high level of fixed costs in all luxury and upmarket hotels. All the visitors on the hotel website who shop, but quit without buying are an indication of the total unconstrained demand for that date. The web activity is a great source of data to assist in demand forecasting. The look-to-book ratio tells the whole story. At which price the visitors booked and at which price they abandoned, gives us insight into the buyer behavior, elasticity of demand and psychology of a particular market segment. If we set a price and we have a very high conversion rate, it means that prices are too low. On the other hand a very low conversion rate is evidence that the prices may be too high for the buyers. Let us conclude this discussion by sharing the idea of not just big data, but better data. Better data gathers information from the seven diverse and important sources. Hotel reservation data on the book. Comp set pricing data. Reviews, ratings and social media comments. Macroeconomic data. Web shopping data, regrets and denials. Weather forecast for the feeder market. Air traffic data of the main source markets. All this information helps the revenue manager to reduce the uncertainty from forecasting, and take carefully considered pricing decisions. Forecasting is a risky business, but not forecasting at all, leaves the business at the mercy of the competitors, and other market forces. Presentation by Praveen Jha Senior Lecturer, Institute of Hotel Management, Hehapur, Bihar. Note I have covered the forecast formula in another presentation.